everybody, this is Praxis. Uh, if you look behind you outside, there's an excavator operating. I asked them to come about a week ago because about a week ago there was just ice everywhere. It was difficult coming down the driveway. This area out here where he's operating right now was a sheet of ice and I knew that we needed to get the concrete truck in in order to do the floor and they're coming in 48 hours or so. Um, Yesterday, as you saw, everything was melting. Uh, we went up to just about 70 degrees. So most of what was out there, there's just a few little piles of snow here and there. Uh, most of what was out there is all gone and the ice situation is you know, not a situation anymore. We do have a mud situation, but things are kind of cooling off. It looks like we're gonna be able to make it work, uh, you know, just barely. But I decided to have them come and bring the gravel anyway because the gravel helps with the mud situation. And also the, the driveway kind of needed some work. It had really deep wheel furrows uh, where ice collected. And it just, it was, it was kind of a difficult situation getting down the driveway sometimes for some of the contractors. Uh, and additionally, we were gonna need this gravel anyway. You know, the, we had to start building up the driveway base. So this material I was gonna have to bring in anyhow. And if it can help me now, you know, ahead of when we we're gonna bring it in later, why not bring it in now and get some of the benefit from it? So they're working on that today to get us ready for when we do the pour, like I said, in about 48 hours. What I'm working on is working on this stud wall right here. There's gonna be a wall next to the stairs. So you're gonna come up around here and then head up the stairs. And I'm gonna be doing this stud wall a little bit differently than I have uh, some of the ones in the past. In the past, I've built the stud wall in place and then I put the wall board sheathing on it. That's not gonna work this time though because uh, with the stairs right next to them, you know, we've already got the stringers in place. Uh, it would be hard to, uh, to nail the, you know, all those sheathing boards up onto this stud wall if it's in place up here. So what my plan is for this, I'm just kind of roughly putting things in place right now. I'm numbering them as they go, uh, each of these studs as they go in, because there's just little uh, inconsistencies in the in the boards up at the top. You know, the, the boards have like, you know, a little bit of a flow to them. So uh, I'm, I'm numbering each one and taking individual measurements on each vertical to make sure that the thing fits in nicely. As I build it, I'm gonna be building it a little bit loose because the idea is, is that once I get all the pieces cut and they look like they're gonna fit, I'm gonna take them down here, assemble the entire frame uh, down here on the floor, tilt it up into place, make sure that it fits, and once I know that it fits, I'm gonna put some cross braces on it so that what I'm gonna do is take it back down, once I know that it fits, the cross braces will hold it rigid so it doesn't kind of flex side to side. Uh, I'm gonna take it back down with the cross braces on it and then sheath the entire back of it. Then again, lift it back up, put it into place and hopefully it fits. The cross braces should prevent, you know, uh, you know, flexing, turning a rectangle into a parallelogram or vice versa, whatever it needs to be to fit into this space. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm doing it that way because otherwise if I tried to put the sheathing on, you know, with these stringers in the way, it would, it would be difficult to, you know, to get everything in there. Once I get this wall up, I'm gonna be able to cut the steps for the stairs and slide them right up to the, the wall here, nail them all in place, and then we're gonna have an easy way up and down to get up this, uh, you know, up into the third floor. So that's what I'm working on for today. Tomorrow, um, it's a day that I'm gonna be taking River out to do a social day with his friends, but then the very next time, the next time we do a video, we're gonna be doing the pour downstairs, unless something happens. And sometimes things do, but the company that's doing the concrete has been really reliable. If they say they're gonna be here, I think they probably are. That's it, see you next time when we're doing the concrete.